homelessness and rough sleepers aren't actually the problem. The problem is a lack of universal affordable housing. We have between 39 and 45 people sleeping here on any one night. Uh, as far as food goes, we have uh, we have probably 420 to 450 a day um, e eating here at least once. We started it on December the 17th, and we started it with urgency um, at about 24 hours' notice. Um, in particular, because we were being told that. Uh, by women who sleep on the streets that they no longer felt safe uh, and in particular because they were waking up to guys trying to sleep with them. Uh, the first thing and the priority here is to provide the actual safe space. No one thought to provide a safe space for rough sleepers until we did this. Simply by the dynamic of the, um, of the number of people that we've got here, um, the number of people that are able to keep watch um, and the crew that uh, that man the kitchen being able to watch over it virtually 24 hours a day. You know, there are a whole lot of new services that we provide. For instance, uh, people are able to leave their gear while they, uh, while they go to job interviews, work for the Dole, uh, other interviews that they, um, that they need uh, even to check out new houses. Now, um, let's paint this little picture for you, right? If you turn up to a, uh, uh, just say you find an affordable house in Sydney. Um, I haven't seen one for quite some time, but just say you found one. Say you turn up with all the other prospective tenants and you're the guy with the swag and you've got all your bags on you and all that. What do you think the landlord's going to say? I've been in Australia since 2008, for nine years now. Um, when I first left New Zealand, I went to Brisbane and I was in a relationship, and my relationship fell apart. And that's when my life sort of um, went on a spiral and went downhill. So I moved from Brisbane to Sydney. This is a good place because it's not only just for homeless people, it's for anyone that's hungry, anyone that is thirsty, that is um, not feeling safe um, in their own environment, in their own property. Uh, the council had uh, cleaned us out a couple of times and that's when housing sort of intervened and uh, came in and gave a lot of people that were homeless here um, during those council cleanouts was um, they gave us temporary accommodation and then got us into our own places which I currently now have my own unit down the Shire. We contacted the New South Wales Department of Family and Community Services for a comment. In their statement, they said, reducing homelessness is a priority for the New South Wales government. The 2016-2017 budget included record funding to tackle this ongoing problem. FAC staff are currently attending Martin Place twice a week, offering housing assistance to clients and providing them with immediate temporary accommodation. The housing department, they've, uh, they've got a program where on Thursday nights they come down here and, um, and put people into uh, what's, what they told me was transitional housing in which they're now claiming is uh, temporary housing. Yeah, we have a duty to, to uh, work with that program uh, in the interests of, of the wider community. Oh, look, I think there's a, a waiting list um, as long as my arm, even longer. Um, there's a lot of people that have been on a waiting list for years and years and years. Um, and there's some people like myself that have been very blessed and fortunate to have been housed within such a very short time and quick period. The difference between uh, what people are earning 
and what people have to pay for accommodation is going to increase. So the the bar at which the poverty um, the poverty line kicks in is rising. You know what we are aiming for is the day when we have universal affordable housing.